Hey, what's going on everybody? Brad here, back with another toy hunt. Today I am at Target once again. I have the kids today. Say hi, Lincoln. Hi. Say hi, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> she can't talk yet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Uh, I've actually been really interested in some Star Wars toys that have been coming out, uh, so I'm gonna see if I can track down any of those. I'm gonna see if there's any update in Jurassic. Probably not, just judging by what my store usually does. But we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find. But as always, we're gonna mask up. We're gonna go out on the hunt. We'll see you in the store. All right, so there you go. Hold on to your butts, because uh, we got one and only Mr. John Raymond Arnold here from the Amber Collection. That's cool to see. You know, doesn't exactly look like him. But uh, I do have this already, so I'm not going to be picking it up today. But uh, great looking box, as always. It's good to see the humans in the stores. We also have Mr. Ian Malcolm, or Doctor, I should say. Um, the sculpt looking a tad, or, or paint, or something looks a tad better. He's got a walkie instead this time. Uh, so... You know, you want that upgrade, along with the uh, chest hair. Uh, I can't tell if you can see it or not, but it's there, so minimally. But uh, yeah, there it is. Dr. Ian Malcolm. Probably not gonna get this one either. I don't have this one. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, you're welcome, Target. Do you a little favor here. And, uh, slide them over to the correct pegs. They are $19.99 for the humans. Much welcome cost this time around for the humans. Missing the bases. And uh, there they go. There they are. Looking good. And yeah, last time we were here, we showcased all of these as well. I don't even know. There might be more this time. <laughs> There's so, so many. Is This seems like bad news, I think, at this point. And yeah, lots and lots of uh, Dino Ambers, too. Got eight of them there. All right, so there you go. That was the, the toy hunt. No Star Wars stuff. We didn't find any of that good Star Wars stuff, right, bud? Nothing? Um, you, got, you got a figure, but Jurassic was okay. I mean... Uh, I don't know why, I just get a little worried every time I go in there <laughs> that like all the massive amounts of things are just gonna end up being bad news for the line. Explo what? <laughs> explosion? There was no explosions. Um, but <laughs> it's, there's an explosion of items on the shelf, I guess you could say, with Dennis Nedry just everywhere still for weeks now. For weeks it's been that way. Um, Amber Collection, you okay, Emmy? You good? You good? She's good. Uh, Amber Collection is still super heavy out there. I don't know if it's been restocked or not. I have no idea. But as far as I've ever seen, it doesn't look like any of the stock has ever left. Um, and then, of course, there's the uh, the humans now. So that was that was good. I was I was actually very, you know, surprised to see that. I thought that was pretty good. Um, we got Ray Arnold out there. And then there was like, I forget if it was like one or two of him or two of Malcolm. Um, but Malcolm was there. That was my first time seeing that Malcolm in person. I didn't buy it. I left it there because it's just not for me. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't I don't like the original one. So I don't really need a new one pay to, you know, whatever it is for 19 bucks. I don't need it. No, I mean, it's I already have one. It's like literally the same figure. But all it does is it comes with like chest hair. <laughs> on his on his body and um a walkie talkie so like a small tiny one so i don't know i don't really need another one just for that i don't know but uh it you know for those who actually never got around to getting it the first time that's good i know if you didn't get it the first time i don't know if there's any excuse because that thing okay. was like five bucks for a long time okay. <laughs> it's okay um, but, uh, otherwise, you know, good stuff out there. It's just a shame 
I'm not sure if Beyond the Gates is helping or hurting. I think it's hurting, honestly, the shelves at stores. Probably good for the overall brand, you know, via the website and pre-ordering and everything. But as far as in-store, I feel like it's just doing harm for what's on the shelf. Um, so I don't know. They might need to readjust if things are not going to plan there. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's about it for the toy hunt. Uh, hopefully it can come out soon again to try to find some of that Star Wars stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow us all over the place and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Uh, be kind to everybody out there, right, Lincoln? It was going to be kind. And uh, stay safe. Thanks so much for watching.